force behind them, but what it is, as you know, 
We've recently lost another agent in America. These discoveries near Arkham suggest that events are reaching an alarming new stage. And now, in England, a team of archaeologists have made similar findings. I'm sending Gallico and Kiel. We were just too late in Arkham. Although I'm sending Ryle to see if he can salvage anything from that situation. Any questions, gentlemen? In that case, I'll keep you informed. Can we open it now? Might as well. Nobody else has turned anything up this morning. I hope there isn't a case. What do you think? Tomb, maybe? But all the burials in this area are rough-hewn and a lot smaller. This is more elaborate. Almost too regular, too neat. Right, that's everything. Yeah, there's nothing extraordinary in there, except for the alarming rate at which these natural catastrophes are occurring. And the number of disappearances. Well, there seems to be a, an irregular pattern over centuries. There's a marked increase recently, concentrated in localised areas. Hmm. Of course, we can't ignore the evidence. Individually, you could put it down to freak natural disasters, but collectively... The earthquake is not satisfied. I mean, Ryle would be the obvious choice to go. Yeah, but Mr. Ryle has been assigned to America to investigate the disappearances there. Hopefully he'll find out what became of Mary Shaw. I'm sending Gallico and Keel. Mina, Keel and Gallico? Yep. Perfect. Now I'll contact HQ. Well, I'm off to brief the Commission. To update them on the situation.
So, who's going to do the honours? So what do you think? It's just a hoax. Well, I don't know. If it is, it was done a long time ago. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. You know very well that room has been sealed up for a long time. If it is a hoax, it's been brilliantly executed. <laughs> and that is exactly what's going to happen to us. Why are you so insistent that this is a hoax? What is it you don't like? I will not have this site, a dig under my jurisdiction, become the subject of some awful asinine story in the local press. So it's your precious reputation you're worried about. I don't worry, it's perfectly safe with me. For a while at least. I'm going to take the skeleton back to the museum, give it the once over. Mm. I thought you'd like to be there. You thought wrong, Dr. Is it working? Uh, I'm not sure how much of this isn't just good old-fashioned wishful thinking. What level are you testing at? According to the Great Left Bridge, this is the measurement for death. Or rather, the next level of existence up the Great Spiral of Being. Really? Mm. Well, I think we can safely say it's dead. It could be a zombie. No such thing. Just a careful administration of a mixture of well-known drugs. Ah, see, it's working. Is oh. that right? Maybe I was wrong about the zombies. Could have calibrated it wrongly. Or maybe it's just not right and it's good old-fashioned wishful thinking. Maybe he got it wrong. Mm. Something of interest there? Well, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I mean, it looks interesting. So come on, enlighten us. What's piqued your interest? There's a town on the English coast. King's Port. People have started to go missing there. Missing, eh? Yes, 11 people just upped and vanished in the same night. Police found abandoned cars. Doors wide open. Well, nobody just vanishes into thin air. Brian does when there's a report due. Huh? My memory serves me correctly. There were the West Ham disappearances of the 19th century. Private Jerry Unwin of the American Army. The crew of the Maui Celeste, all gone for good. Yes. What's odd, though? And I stress it might be pure coincidence. Go on, I know that look. There's an archaeological dig taking place in the same area as the disappearances. Ah, uh, this sounds like the call to investigate. Well, all I'm going to say is that a team from the University of Providence found something that shouldn't have been there. A tomb that was far too late for the age of the encampment they were excavating. Sounds intriguing. Well, I suppose it is just possible that there is a genuine non-conformity to the usual archaeological rules. And the usual authorities are at a loss. They always are. 
without making any connections or drawing any conclusions from the findings. Although I can see that you are. Have you been given a brief? Yes. Well, I think we better look at this. Where is it? King's Port? Well, I was going to come with you, put you in the right direction. But I've been given an assignment in New England. Something similar is happening there. You want to talk to someone called Marsh. He's one of the archaeologists. You might get something out of him. What do we know about Kingsport? Just your average small coastal town in England. Not much in the way of industry. Mostly reliant on tourism. Yes. Candy floss. <laughs> Why would anybody want to abduct so many people in so short a space of time? Serial killer? Well, it's hardly subtle to abduct so many in so small an area. Makes her all sound a bit... Iffy? Mm, yeah. Maybe it's a fringe cult. Probably inspired by listening to too much demonic chanting. Which, by the way, when played backwards, sounds just like heavy metal music. Well, if you're going to have candy floss, I'm going to treat myself to kiss me quick hat. You dare, and you're on your own. Did you know that 25 million Americans claim to have been abducted by extraterrestrials? Well, I thought it was interesting. What do you make of that? Remarkable. What is it? It's Kingsport. And look, these points are where the abductees lived. Now, what on earth prompted you to try that? Calculated hunch? I didn't know there was such a thing. Okay, call it divine inspiration. Anyway, what do you think it means? An unsubstantiated stab in the dark? Oh, very funny. Now that's the site of the gig. Right on the edge of the circle. I suppose it could mean a pattern or structure, figures in the landscape. But what the? Why would anyone want to abduct so many people in such a regular pattern? Why indeed? Someone looking for order, maybe? A ritual? Well, maybe there's so much chaos in their lives, they're looking for some kind of order. A ritual? I'm sure that Kingsport used to be the location for a mystic cult. An offshoot of the Golden Dawn. Do you think that might have something to do with it? I'd be surprised if there wasn't a connection. What have you got there? It's the latest geophysics printout. We did a wider sweep of the area to see if we could find anything else. There's a lot of rubble there, but do you see the pattern? And what do you think it is? Beats the proverbial out of me. But it puts the chest that we dug up smack bang in the middle. The focus, if you like. Well, maybe it is just rubble. Maybe the program's faulty. But maybe it adds even more significance to the whole site. 
Maybe we've discovered a whole new ritual type. Uh, I don't think so. I think this means absolutely nothing. Look, even you can't deny that. Look at it. To ignore it would to be... To ignore it would be prudent. Have you been talking to Pauls? This is my dig, Marsh, and I won't be undermined. You've had enough bad publicity already. I'm already having to deal with idiots who think that the disappearances in town are somehow down to this place. Can we at least go and find out what those are? Indulge me. Shoot of the Golden Dawn was called the OTE. Yeah. I think there was a falling out with the main corpus and Alistair Crowley decided to go it alone. There's all four temples in this country. One of them being Kingsport. Yeah. Yeah, Order Temporary Exemplar, I think it was called. I don't think it lasted that long. Um, by the time the 1920s came along, the people had vanished. And you think they might have something to do with it, to what's going on? Yeah. I can't be certain, but... Well, call it a calculated hunch. this pain in the ass the engine. But I have not. Look, if you can't handle it, let me take over. It's not me. It's the car. Now what? Well, I haven't a clue. Everything's just gone dead. Are you sure? Well, of course I'm sure. What do you think I was doing? Staging an impromptu picnic? Nothing's working. All right, all right. I believe you. I won't take a second. I'm rather good at practical things. All done. Fancy trying it now? It won't work. The whole thing's dead. Major electrical failure. <laughs> I really do hate it when you do that. It was just a loose connection. Nothing supernatural. One important thing, though. 
A tissue. Oh, bless you. There's a sense of finality in the air. Can you feel it? As if something's waiting to finish its work. Well, I do get the impression we're not welcome here. There's a storm brewing. That's what I'm afraid of. Well, I've spent most of the afternoon at the police station. I know, but no, no, it's my fault. I just really didn't want them hanging around in the museum. Well, not with all the fines everywhere. You know what policemen are like. Anything? Only a few ashes and what looked like some burnt pieces of wood. Offerings? Maybe. But I wouldn't want to hazard a guess or tell you what for. Put that bloody stone back, then. You can't just put it back and forget about it. Don't you think this has got something to do with that? Have I ever been to Kingsport before? No, it, it's just I have this extraordinary feeling of deja vu. You don't understand this. What is it you're so scared of? Well, come on, tell me. I will not be questioned. No, it's something more than that. I'm just trying to think about your future. Well, thank you very much, but I'm the only one that should be worried about that. Suppose you do stick your head up above the parapet and tell everyone what you found here. That's you finished in archaeology. Yeah, or you. Well, that's it, isn't it? This isn't about anybody else. This is about you. You're worried about your perfect reputation being tarnished. Your precious position at the university as a head of department. Your pension. I'm leaving in an hour. If you want to lift. <laughs> well, I better go now. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to do back at the house. No, no, they put us all in a house just outside town. Morton and Marsh and the whole crew all sort of living on top of each other at the moment. Yeah, well, I'd better go. We should be finished here in a few days, and I thought I'd try and get a little time off come home. Okay. All right. Bye.
Stop! Stop! Why? Look, just stop. I thought I saw something. What are you doing? Will? Will? Telling me he just disappeared? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. He shouted at me to stop, and then he jumped out and ran off into the trees. Then nothing. So what do you think happened to him? How the hell should I know? Your guess is as good as mine. You've spent the last few weeks questioning everything I suggest, and now you're asking for my opinion? Yes, I am. Because this is another person who's gone missing on this dig, which, may I remind you, as you have been reminding everyone else for the last few weeks, is your responsibility. Exactly what are you implying? I'm not implying anything. I am just trying to find out what happened to Marsh. You bring me to the nicest places for breakfast. It's not my fault the hotel stopped serving breakfast at a ridiculously early hour. We could at least have found a cafe. You are standing on the site of the Temple of the Ordo Templi Exemplar. And now it's a shopping mall. In somebody's book, that's called progress. It's also the site of one of the recent abductions. Hmm. Well, if this site is on the edge of the circle, in the center. Thought you'd never ask. I can't hear you. Hear you?
another circle. There's only one place that this could have come from. You know what's going on here, don't you? It has to be stopped. It has to be stopped. What has to be stopped? It's taking my soul, into, taking the my soul into the darkness. What is? He came to me. He came to me. He came into my room. Into my room. Who are you? He's already taken the others. He's already taken the others. It's all right. You're safe now. No one's taking you anywhere. Don't you see? Don't you see? It's too late. Too late. For all of us. For all of us. Too late for what? There's a man with something on his mind. Excuse me. Uh, we're looking for someone called Marsh. Well, you're not the only ones. Uh, yeah, we couldn't help noticing the police back along the track. Yeah, problems, Mr. Morton. Dr. Morton. Oh, sorry. Marsh went missing last night. Just vanished. I told you it wasn't tax discs. Disappeared. Disappeared? Like the others? I'm sorry. I didn't get your names. Which paper did you say you were from? We're not from any newspaper. Look, I'm very busy here. We've had hordes of reporters handing us in our work, trying to dig the dirt. <laughs> That's very good. Dig the dirt. This is an archaeological dig. Besides, I've said all I'm going to say. We're not the police either. So how do you know my name? I read. <sighs> you're definitely not the police then. Let's just say we're an interested party. Interested in what? Disrupting scientific work? No, no, we're not here to disrupt anything. Do you recognize this, Dr. Morton? No. Should I? It's a geophysical printout, yes? Now, I'd say it was fairly recent. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only archaeological dig in the area. So it wouldn't be stretching the bounds of coincidence too far to suggest that it belongs to this site. I don't know. Are you sure? Try looking again. We found it in this jacket, which probably belongs to your missing colleague. Need I say more? Where did you get that? So it is his. Yeah. He was wearing it last night when he vanished. Look, I don't know what happened. We had a week to finish this dig. Reputations are at stake. Marsh and the others became convinced that something supernatural was going on. 
that the disappearances in town were down to this place. You may need to open your mind a little more. Not so much that my brains fall out, which seems to be the predominant trend around here. There's every chance there is a connection. Well, everyone certainly wants to blame me for Marsh's absence. Tell me, how can a scientific study of a primitive culture be causing people to vanish off the face of the earth? You'll be telling me ridiculous stories about aliens and crop circles next. Well, do you know, he can tell you fantastic stories about crop circles. Why does that not surprise me? Look, none of this has anything to do with science. Patterns in the ground, abductions, Christ knows what else. Are you telling me you've seen nothing here? to upset your precious orthodoxy. What are you doing? I'm trying to get a clearer picture of what's going on here. Sense of a grand design. Look, both of these circles are contiguous at a point on their circumference. Where does that large circle come from? It's formed by the points of the reported abductions. Whoever's abducting these people is working to some plan. You know, I wonder if there's something precessional about it. The movement of the Earth against the stars? According to the ancients, the, the Earth was the center of all things. What it indicates is a mystery. We may never unravel its secrets. I can't accept that. I like to deal in facts, Mr. Gallico. Now, perhaps what you do allows you to be much more radical than me. But I have to work within certain parameters, within the set boundaries. And I respect your theories, Dr. Morgan. But even you cannot deny, your eyes must tell you there's something odd going on here. And maybe it's a, an astronomical structure akin to Stonehenge or Avery. Maybe it's a pointer to something that's going to happen. A warning.
Is he all right? Depends on your definition of all right. He's behaving very strangely. There is a tension about his body language. Could be delayed shot to Marsh's disappearance, I suppose, but I think it's more. Intuition again? Afraid so. I do get the impression, though, that he really doesn't know what's going on here. Well, that's why he's so keen on this hoax theory. So, what's a brick structure doing in an ancient site like this? I think it is a hoax, but one that was done, say, a hundred years ago. It's like finding a digital watch at a Roman temple. We all know it shouldn't be there, but somehow it is. Was there anything in it? Hmm. A strangely marked chest with ornate carvings on it. Unknown symbols. Well, to me at least. But there was a grotesque little skeleton inside, clutching a ragged book. So, are you going to tell me I've unleashed evil spirits or some tutankhamun style curse? Because if you are, I don't want to hear it. That was just myth. Well, Howard Carter lived to a ripe old age, as far as I can remember. Dormant bacteria, natural causes and ignorance fueled that particular mystery. But you've got to admit, strange things did start to happen once you started to dig here. Like I said, I won't tolerate tabloid lunacy or stupid theories. The police want to be looking for a lunatic, not a horde of bloodthirsty demons. Where's the chest now? We've hired a room at the local museum where our finds are stored and examined before being labelled and sent off to the university. My colleague, Dr. Pauls, is there now, with the chest. Could we talk to him? Her. Helen Pauls. I don't know. You can try, I suppose. Right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Morton. You've been very helpful. And if I have a little look round? It's up to you. I have samples to pack. Excuse me, yes. I'm looking for Mrs. Pauls. She's with the archaeological team. Yes, I know, yes. You just got the stairs there. All right, thank you very much. Okay. Yes? Mrs. Pauls? Doctor? Sorry. Can I have a word with you? What about? The dig. Are you from the police? Has one you been found? No, I'm not from the police. And, well, as far as I'm aware, he hasn't been found. I'm sorry. 
So, who are you? My name's Mina Keel. I'm a scientist with, well, let's just say a rather unorthodox view of the world. <laughs> Not Morton's day. So, what's your subject? Oh, most things. Graphology, biology. How can I help you? Your colleague Morton spoke about a chest that had been found at the dig. There it is. Have a look. If you're a graphologist, then maybe you can enlighten me. What have you found out about it so far? Very little, I'm afraid. I'm about to get some samples carbon dated. Anyway, how old do you think this is? Really sure. Ah. Now that's very interesting. Now, yes, of course. to guess, and it is only a guess. This skeleton is approximately 100 years old or so. Judging from the general condition, joints mainly. What is very surprising is that it's neither male nor female. In fact, I can't even say for sure that it's human. So what is it? I have no idea. No idea. I feel strangely nervous about this. How odd. The pages seem to have been blanked out. Why would anyone deface the contents? Sarcophagus has been opened, must have been. It's wanton vandalism, surely. Interesting symbolism. Look at the shape of the rocks ringing the mouth of the cave. This is all sort of familiar, but I can't think why. That's it. It is a mouth. This die was applied at the same time that the body was embalmed and buried in the first place. Could you get a sample of this dated with your other specimens? I don't see why not, but what will it tell us? I'm not sure, but think about it. Whenever this book was written, it was from a long time before the original burial, in a language we barely recognize. Whoever did it was determined that the knowledge would never be known. Dr. Pauls. Hmm? This other page. The two circles. The two circles? There's something obviously different about them. Perhaps an x-ray would show something. No, no, no. It's quite subtle. The outer circle isn't solid. Well, it's a bit scratchy. Sort of 
Broken. 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 Exactly. this, behaving really erratically. I tend not to notice erratic these days. Must be a side effect of working with you, I think. Did you find out anything? I did. So do you think it had been tampered with sometime in the past? Well, that's just it. I'm certain that it was done at the same time as the original entombment. And whoever did that was determined that if anybody found the book in the future, they wouldn't be able to read it. Interesting. The only page that was left untouched showed figures entering the mouth of the cave. And above it, there was an image of really sure what it was. Dark angel, dark angel. Dark and although the other page was virtually unreadable, I was just able to make out two circles. And the outer circle was a broken line. Of course. It's the only consistent thing through all of this. Two circles, one inside the other. It's the oldest form of science in the world. have disturbed some sort of psychic field. I think they did. Initially, I thought whoever was behind the disappearances was trying to warm them away from the place, to close the site down, but now I'm not so sure. Two sects, perhaps. Well, one trying to preserve the knowledge, the other trying to destroy it. Uh, race memory, perhaps? Is that possible? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's very easy to regress someone through several lifetimes. Is it relevant? More relevant than you'd think, Dr. Morton. Look, throughout history, there have been unspoken arts and rituals. Well, black magic, medieval witchery. What would you have done in the Middle Ages if you were a peasant, trying to protect yourself against evil? Exactly. You'll draw a circle round yourself. You're not serious. You can't believe that rubbish. Dr. Morton, you have a closed mind. Well, not intentionally, but because you're part of what's going on here. Part of what's going on? I'm a scientist. We've turned up a few inconsequential bits and pieces that just don't happen to tally with our current thinking. Not on a conscious level, no. Have you ever wondered why clairvoyance goes through families, why it's passed down from one generation to another. What's going on? 
Here, Kiro. You're insane. What are, you, what are you talking about? There is nothing going on here. It's Paul's. Where is she going? We've got to help her. Let's do something. I think she's beyond our help. Who are you? That is, that not, is important. not important. What have you done with Paul's, the woman you brought here? She has, she has been, been chosen. Chosen? Chosen? Chosen for what? What have you done to her? And the others. They are needed, they are needed to, help to help save, save my kind, kind for, for our, our survival. survival. Why do you need them to survive? I don't understand. What have you done with them? Mankind, Mankind has, destroyed has destroyed the earth. The earth. We, must we must journey. journey. They, will they will sustain, sustain us. us. Us? Are there many of you? There were many. There were many. Now there are now few. There are few. We, have we have been destroyed by those by who those thought who they thought ruled, they the, ruled world. the world. They will replenish the land. And so they will sustain us. Just as your kind have always done. Sustain you? How? Do you not nurture the beasts of the land for your own use? That's barbaric! Are we nothing more than cattle to you? What else are you? We have lived in your legends and myths throughout time. The world is being swept clean to begin anew. You had your chance. You failed. Your race did not heed the warning. However, those who have been chosen will find a future world that is pure. Mankind will know suffering. You will suffer. What right have you got to destroy us? You have started the process yourselves. We are, we are simply accelerating, accelerating it in order in for order us to, for us survive. to survive. That's genocide! Something, Something you know much, much about. about. The, countdown the countdown to the apocalypse, to the apocalypse has, has begun. begun. We will we build will the world build anew with, with purity, purity to perpetuate, to perpetuate us. us. We are merciless. You cannot, you cannot escape, escape your fate, fate. just as those with us cannot escape theirs. You're wrong. There was a woman. She has eluded you. You are mistaken. You are mistaken. You I don't mistaken. think so. You are she mistaken. appeared by the dig. I spoke with her myself. That, that is, is not, not possible. possible. Somehow, her spirit is able to escape your domain. If she can, others will learn to escape too. You're losing your grip. Mankind is no longer prepared to sit back and take the justice. You and your kind dish out. No. no. I, will I will show, show you the true, true nature, nature of suffering. suffering.
you done to him? He's witnessed the final fate of your planet as you know it. He feels all the torment and suffering that your people will feel in their final moments. Why do you choose to destroy us? The time has passed for change. There is nothing in the rest of the world to me. There is! We are trying to change. With your help, we can pull back from the edge. Before it's too late. Because, because you, you have, have not, not earned, earned the right. right. I am here. I am here. I am here. Look upon your world and the chaos, chaos you create. create. Then, then judge, judge yourself if you have, have the right. right. You, you have, have lost, lost all that was good, good in you. To live and survive means they cannot continue their journey. There are things I need need to know. In time, you learn what you need to know. But time is short. Perhaps you would like to join him. See something of your own fate. Suffer the eternity of a torment from which the only release is death. You've made your point. Bring him back. Now! You will suffer, suffer. Stopping you. Your time has not yet come. We will meet again. Come on. It's time we were leaving. You're right. There's nothing left for us here. Whatever this place is, its significance is lost on us.
You had me worried this time. I really thought we'd lost you. There are reports from all over the world. People have had the same experiences as you. It was petrifying to come so close to a, a force of such power. To be reminded of our own vulnerability. Something's going to happen sometime in the future. And the Earth will be devastated. But it's already begun. These abductions, what's their relevance? To create a new world, or at least civilization. A pure race, free from toxins and pollution. Consummation devoutly to be wished, but not to be wished upon us. We should have foreseen this while we were still in control and could have done something about it. Maybe we can learn something. Not from them. They intend to cull us. In the same way that we destroy diseased cattle or infected sheep, they see us as a food resource, only we become polluted. Hence the need for purification. Records tell us of missing children who were abducted when the OTE were operating. Children of purity. One for every node of the circle around the inner temple. They were burned to death. Any idea how much time we have? It's hard to tell. It will be weeks, months, years. But one thing is certain. Sometime, somewhere. They will return. <laughs> Thank you. 